Love Life. Welcome back to my channel. I am a mommy, I am a planner babe, and I'm a first grade teacher. Today I'm doing my cash budget and stuffing my wallet envelopes as well as my sinking funds. This video is it's way overdue and I cannot wait to actually just get it done. I have been using my rollover money and then kinda taking some of the bank money that I had budgeted and to pay some expenses that needed to happen and it's still within the budget but I had not done my stuffing so I just kind of feel I was all over the place and before I decided to film this video I know that I got a new wallet so I filmed that and then I also did my weekly spread which I don't typically film I did my weekly spreads like so I'm doing my neat once I'm budgeted and I have done like my gas food is I'm trying to do the blue stickers from Mambi pink purchases and then anything that is down here it's unbudgeted for so i actually did input everything in here before coming on and know that i have spent for my groceries envelope from um my husband has taken his money and then i did spend on beauty as you can see i got my nails done finally the little tip from this nail fell off and it wasn't as bad as i thought and i am um zero tolerance level for pain so i thought it was i was devastated um but once my nail tech saw it she's like no it's okay i can do it you're you're safe then um once i got the goal then i did them i'm very in love with my nails i got them a little bit shorter and i'm not too happy about that but they're functioning well and it, it helps me with the car seat and everything in the car so it, it should be fine anyway moving on forward from here I did put everything here and then I ended up using the Sunday box here on my monthly spread to kind of just do the total amounts for that week in each and then I'm currently this week right here so I have not you know closed this week at all I am moving on forward with my actual cash budget and it's under I'm going to move on forward with my cash budget tab and this is what I use for that. Please know that everything that I use is linked in the description box uh, below. And if it's not there, please go ahead and shoot me an email or comment down below and let me know what you need and I will go out of my way to try and get that for you. So this form is actually from my Etsy shop and it'll be in the description box as well. Today I have a little bit more than 18 spots of wallet envelopes and sinking funds so I won't be using this one. I will actually use the one that my sister and I collaborated with and I love it because it has a lot more spaces. The only thing is I do like the wide space because I write pretty big, but it's okay. With all of that being said, now I'm going to get started. I'm going to start by doing my categories here and the cash budget for this week was actually 874 and that's what my husband got paid. And he got paid on, I don't know. I don't know if you noticed, I've been uploading so many videos because I am so behind, so I'm playing this catch up game. And know that it's not solely for my YouTube channel, but it's because it really is, I'm accountable for all this stuff and they're important things in my life. I don't just do videos to do them for my YouTube channel. It's actually stuff that I use, so it is absolutely necessary that I caught up with all of that. Okay, this is September, I'm in the wrong month, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right here, um, he did keep it 80, 74, and it was on the 16th. So we did pull the money out on that day. We went to Costco. I was absent from work. I took a personal day off. I mean, we went to Mimi's Cafe. We had to get from, a, borrow from other envelopes. Still, of course, within the budget, although I kind of did insert it as an unbudgeted expense. Not here. Where is it? I didn't even put it in. I'm so glad I'm look. Oh, it's right here. I'm budgeted, but I put it on Monday. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm glad I'm kind of coming over here. Um, this happened, this unbudgeted expense happened here, but know that if it's unbudgeted, I will borrow from my wallet envelopes, which were kind of budgeted anyway, but they were not for that category. So I don't feel like we're way off. I'm still okay. And I have to give myself permission to do that. And it's totally fine. So going back to my form, let's get started with my categories this week. Yep. It's this one right here. And did I say, Oh, it's not, I'm lying. 
this one over here and it is for October 16, 2019. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. Know that before actually figuring out uh, the amount with my husband, I actually look into making sure that these wallet envelopes get filled because these envelopes are super important for our family just because those fit the needs for our family and it, they make us happy and keep us uh, keep our marriage happy as well as our family all together. So these have to happen before I looked into any of the sinking funds. I am very excited that a lot of them are actually coming to be fully funded or have been funded and that is a very exciting moment but for now um, I do make sure that these are fulfilled and then I add up these off camera and make sure that whatever is left over then I kind of budget over here if that's making sense. So let me go ahead and tell you the envelope of course for these will be wallet and for these will be sinking funds. Okay. The amount that's going for groceries this week is 150. For family is $30. For gasoline, it is $160. For entertainment, it is $25. For spending, it is $70. For water, 10. Girls, 10. Babysitter, 120. Giving, 10. Beauty, 20. Health and fitness, 20. Eating out is $40. Now moving on to sinking funds. We have 22 for Camila's birthday. Car tags will be 21. I wanna say this one's fully funded. My, okay, my husband and I worked on sinking funds on Wednesday because I took a personal day. So that morning we got a lot done together. I was very productive with him. And I wanna say we fully funded this one and somehow I shouldn't go. If anything, then I'll put this towards Christmas. Moving on. Now we are moving to field trips, $7. Health co-payments, $5. Household Mexico, $40. Hybrid, $9. Savings, $20. Sophia's birthday, $8. And travel, $77. Let me add up these numbers and see if I did this right. We have 150 plus 30 plus 160 plus 25 plus 70 plus 10 plus 10 plus 120 plus 10, plus 20, plus 20, plus 40, plus 22, plus 21, plus 7, plus 5, plus 40, plus 9, plus 20, plus 8, plus 77 equals 874. Good job, Maria Hernandez. Okay, 874. Here comes the biggest and the hardest part. Let me do this breakdown. Now that this is done, let's go ahead and let's see how many denominations I need of each. Let's go ahead and start with hundreds. It is one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, that means that three bills of 100 will give me 300, four bills of 50 will give me 200, 14 bills of 20 will give me 280. Five bills of 50 will give me 50. Five, six bills of five will give me six times five is 30. 14 bills of one will give me 14. Let's add this up and see if this is correct. So we will do 300 plus 200 plus 280 plus 15 plus 30 plus 14 equals 874. I did this right. 
and I am happy about that. Now, we had to use cash yesterday and today, and today is Thursday, so we have been using cash from here. Let's remove this. We don't need that any longer. And I'm going to use this as my cheat sheet, and I'm gonna move on to stuffing the envelopes. Let me bring in the cash. Okay, so here it is. Let me fix the bills. Now that the bills are there, let's bring out my new wallet. And if you're interested in knowing how much it was and what it entails, then go ahead and check out my video tomorrow morning. I will be uploading tomorrow before I go to work. These are my envelopes. And if you're interested on the Thanksgiving ones, I have some fall ones and then some Halloween ones. I'm working on some black and white and also pink. So give me one sec and I will be uploading those to my Etsy shop as well. All right, let's start with groceries. And for groceries, we have 150. Because we, I was out on Wednesday, I went to Costco with him and I added 150 to this. We spend at Costco $140. So because we spent $140, we only had $10 left out of our budget. But from last week, we had a rollover with 100. I thought about not leaving it in here and then just keeping this here, but I'm gonna leave it as a rollover completely. So again, this is from last week and the $150 for this week we spent on Wednesday or we had $10 left, but I'm still leaving the rollover of $100 bill here and it's only because I was on that cruise so we didn't really spend for that one week. I wanna see what happens. If it doesn't, then I will add it to a sinking fund. That is my goal, to put it into a sinking fund. But if I need it, then I will use it this week. So groceries is 150, I won't grab it from there. And I just wanted to show you what was in here and what I had written in my cash budget tracker. So I'm going to leave it back in there. For family night, I want to do $30. And there is nothing in here. And of course I cleared it because everything now it's in my classic happy planner. So for family night, let's go ahead and grab 20 and a 10, which makes this 20, 30. And let's write that in. This is for the 10, 16 check deposit plus 30, balance of $30. Going back into the envelope. For gasoline, I have to tell you, I've been really bad. <laughs> we do have a balance of $34, but we ended up depositing because we have been putting gas at Costco. The detriment with that, or the drawback, is that I see money in the bank account and I spent. It's actually where I spend my cash wallet from. So I put it as unbudgeted and then I am going to make sure this is recovered to the bank with my spending money eventually. So it will be fine, but know that there is still $34 roll over. I am going to add the 160 for this week. That's 100, 150, 160. And I am not, I love putting gas at Costco, but I, I do not have control. Hence why I started all of this. I just wanted to make sure each cent in my family's budget had a purpose in a category so that I won't be spending it on 
either drinks for my husband or planners and stickers for me so it's going really well and i think you have seen if you've been with me for a while that it's making a huge difference and i only started in august and already i see a huge change in our family and even our moods it affects my family like if we didn't have our family night i was like great now what are we gonna do we ended up not having it because i used to spend it on other stuff or just like buying supplies for the girls or toys so know that it's still a good like i'm still in a good place so i'm not complaining but i don't know if i have the self-control to put it back into the bank and see it there i shouldn't really be logging into my account but because i know it's there it is so easy to press purchase on amazon that's my biggest thing so i'm going to put it in here and i might just go back to just using all cash for gasoline i tried it and <laughs> i failed so that is that oh wait I didn't write it down so much for that okay so for 10 16 um, we are going to deposit that's the check for this week we deposit plus 60 which gives me the amount of 160 plus 34 equals 194 in this fund and the $34 will be in the bank, so that's fine with that. Entertainment is getting some money right now, and the money that is getting is 10, 16 deposit of $25 plus 25. It will give me a total of 25, 35, 45, 46, 47 dollars. I did not want to bring my calculator out. Um, so let's go ahead and bring it in. That's 20 and a five. And let's bring this money in here as well. So my rollover stays 20, 40, 45, 46, 47. That's correct. Putting my card here in the back and putting this back in here. And so we used our entertain some of our entertainment money, and I'm kind of happy that. It's separated from eating out. It, it has worked really well for us. Spending has a receipt. <laughs> and we start with nothing. So let's go ahead and deposit some money into this envelope for 1016 paycheck. We deposit, how much am I getting? $20 plus 20 and 20. Now know that this might just go back to the bank and pay back gasoline. So we'll see how that unravels. <laughs> $20 for me. Water is $10 and we typically always spend that. So I'm going to do a deposit. And balance of $10. Let's grab that $10 bill. Put it right here. And girls will be getting they didn't spend on anything and we will be doing a deposit of ten dollars today which will give them a balance of forty dollars in this sinking fund and not sinking fund in this cash envelope which is a good thing because i do want to get them another sweater so it's building up and it kind of feels like a sinking fund that's why i called it sinking fund but sometimes we're out and about and I really need to get them something and this is a good thing to have in here. And so I can build on my clothing sinking fund. This is working out really well right now. Okay, cool. That is done. And then, did I write it in? I did. Babysitter is getting 120. and it will go in this envelope like so then I'm going to make some movements here like so okay so now that that is done, done giving gets 
ten dollars so deposit balance of ten I love having this envelope because it is a good thing to like even like when they're selling chocolates or someone's doing a fundraiser it's a good thing to just have this as well for that health and fitness I don't know if I'm adding am I adding yes no yet oh I have it wrong beauty goes first that's why I was a little confused okay I'm adding $20 to this I have not spent so let's deposit here I want to get another herbal eye shake so hopefully I can do that with this amount they have the pumpkin spice one and I really like that so let's grab a 20 and just put it in here like so so that's 20 40 and then my beauty is getting actually it's not getting anything because I had to pull the 20 dot look at this one. Oh my gosh. I had to pull $20 from here to get my nails done yesterday. So I just put it as a rollover at this point for plus three so that next week when I fill this envelope, I know that that's going to be in here. So it's going back in here. Again, I grabbed this money yesterday. Eating out is getting $40. And we're going to do 10, 16, deposit, plus 40, total amount of $40. Let's do two 20s, one and two, like so. And it'll go in here. I am done with my cash wallet. I am going to go ahead and put this back in here and because it's a new wallet I've noticed that it's not as wide and it doesn't have as much space in here so one thing that I've noticed from here is that I'm gonna have to really push it tight so that I don't mess with the zipper oh I didn't take out the coins for Sophia so I'm gonna go ahead and do that And that goes into my daughter's piggy bank and now we can close this let's bring out our sinking funds now see I have to really close it tight okay sinking funds these are envelopes from Amazon and these are two discs just in case you're wondering and everything is linked down below okay let's work with this I actually pulled up my printable stickers from designed by two and if they have this little blue thermometer that means it has been fulfilled so what happened is I received from Costco where's Costco from Costco I received the actual check that I get for being one of the are they prime members I don't even know what it's called but the membership is $120 and the check was for 119 so it actually covered everything and in this envelope I had $70 which now in turn I've actually given to Amazon Prime here we go when this was fulfilled I was wondering if I should just leave it there for next year or should I use it to fulfill other envelopes at this point so I have to prioritize and what I figure I will do is take out the $70 from the Costco fund since it, ha it was fulfilled with the actual um, reimbursement that we got from being one of the um, I don't know what they call but the highest member in at Costco so we get certain amount of points and that is given to us in cash so it was able to pay itself and now I figure that I want to put in my more money to other sinking funds so I figure that if I end up closing others by fulfilling them or by making sure they're fully funded then I can add more to other sinking funds so that's exactly what I did and Amazon Prime it is now fully funded so if I go in here my goal was to have I think 100 but I added 120 because I hear rumors that the Prime membership went up I'm not sure if that's correct but I want to make sure I'm ready and this is not due until January so 50 70 70 oh, why are these bills not in the correct order 
Okay, let's try this one more time. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means that's $120 that is now in the Amazon sinking fund, and it is now fully funded. Do you know the feeling of this? It is awesome. I am very, very excited about that, and to be honest, like I never thought in a million years, why is this coming out? Okay, there we go. In a million years that it was going to happen so soon. I started August, first week of August of this year. It is, we are into what, the third week of October, and I have a lot of the sinking funds fulfilled. I have money that I have sent from Mexico for the trip. I funded for cruise spending. It is amazing. It is a great feeling. For Camila's birthday, we're funding it with $22 today, taking this out and grabbing 20, 21, whoopsies, 22, and I am putting the dollars together. And this one right here. I'm not sure why they are. Maybe because I count them like that. What am I doing? I'm confused. Okay, there we go. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 260. 261, 262, 263, 264, 265, 266 dollars in Camila's birthday. And I think my goal is to get $500 here by January. I cannot tell you enough how many times we waited for my husband's like bonus check in December to pay for to fund for Christmas gifts and then to be like really poor by January and try to pull out of my husband's check um in January like when he got paid that Wednesday we used all that money for Camila's birthday which meant we didn't have grocery money for that week we were just like really dragging it it was horrible and with this, oh my gosh, imagine what we can do with my husband bonus check this year. We can probably potentially pay a credit card. We can really, really do that. I don't know how much he's getting this year. I know last year he got like $2,000. Um, so it's a pretty hefty amount. And really, I'm very excited to come to that day and realize that I don't have to use it for Christmas gifts or anything like that. Because as soon as I come back from Mexico, I am loading that envelope. Like it'll be fully funded. I trust that that's going to happen if things go well. Um, yeah. Anyway, putting this back in here and it is very exciting. If you haven't started yet, please consider starting and um, giving yourself that opportunity and that chance to see if it works for you. It has worked for me and I'm hoping that, I, like I said before, I'm not a fin financial expert, but oh my gosh, it has made such a difference. Give me one sec. Let me take a sip of water. Moving on to car maintenance. Car maintenance is not getting anything. I'm gonna move straight to car tags. And I was sure this was funded. And if you saw my detailed cash budget, I did budget for $21 to go into this fund, but it has been fully funded due to, I don't know. I don't remember when I fully funded this. It has 200 in here. Oh, I think it was funded back when my sister paid me her Verizon, her cell phone payment because she owed me money i think that's where i funded this and i forgot to make a note of it in my plan so it is fully funded i am closing this if i close them that means i reviewed this with you that's what i should do with i closed that one as well so we're good car tax is fully funded so guess what i'm going to do i'm going to put this 20 dollars where i know is going to benefit me the most so if i really think about it one of the ones that is getting really close to being funded will probably, I wanna say is Sophia's birthday. So I could either put a Sophia's birthday or just kinda of add it to Christmas this time around. Maybe I'll add it to Christmas. Does it have anything? It has $5, guess what? I'm gonna make a note that I'm gonna add it to Christmas. So let me make a little bit of change in my cash budget.
Okay, as I was writing that, I changed my mind again. I will put it into Christmas, but I'll add it to Christmas. No, I'll add it here. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused right now. Okay, I'll add it in here. I was going to do Christmas at work, but I changed my mind again because there's something that I want to get from Costco that I saw, and it would be nice if I start funding in here because you know if you shop at Costco that if you see it once and you take a long time and you're really pro trying to process, things are gone and they don't come back. So 20, 25, 26. In that way, maybe I can fund a little bit more next week and get a gift that I really want to get, which I won't say it because... <laughs> Some people watch my videos. Okay, some family members. Okay, classroom is not getting anything at this time. I did take $10 out of here because I bought some stickers for them and for the super improver wall. Clothing, not getting anything right now. I think I'm going to go straight to, see Costco was fulfilled, so I don't need to add anything at this point. That's awesome. I am going to go straight to, Field trips. Field trips always get seven dollars, so I'm going to grab five, six, seven. Let's put this in here. And this is, has been since the first week of August, seven dollars in here. And in the beginning, when I did my first sinking funds, I was like, I know it's not a lot, but I'm gonna add seven dollars and see where this takes me. Well, look at this, twenty. 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77 dollars for fill trip. It's doing well, slow and steady, wins the race. And fill trips, it is um, going to be a hefty amount because we're trying to budget for a fifth grade fill trip and she's currently in fourth grade and I know they go to this big camping trip and I don't like doing <laughs> selling chocolates and fundraising like that I just rather give them the cash and I'm adding like a hundred dollars more just so that I can help sponsor with a hundred dollars another tile because I know it is a pretty big um, field trip and it, it's a hefty amount so field trips done we are going to do health and co-payments I'm adding five in here and it currently has $15 in here, so if I add five, that will give me now 20. Like so, 10, 15, 20. Good. Okay, moving on. For household Mexico, we're doing $40. 20, 40. Let's put them in here. 100. 150, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300, did I do this right? 100, I can't believe it, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 320 dollars. Ah! <laughs> Guys, oh my God, I'm gonna cry right now, oh my God, okay. Moving on to hybrid allowance. My baby girl has been so busy with homework and she's been so sick. She only gets her allowance. She hasn't been able to do any extra chores. And I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm totally okay with that. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. Hybrid allowance. Moving on to savings. This little piggy is getting money today. We have $70. Now we're going to go ahead and put $20 more. And it is $90 into this account. Let's see, 50, 70, 90. So it's going in here. 90, wait, did I put them in? You see, that's awesome. I wanted to spend them on planners and stickers. What do you know? <laughs> Okay, savings goes in there. Let me go ahead and just take a look at that one happy planner form. I'm waiting for the mark for 100 so that I can't wait to do this highlighted part. So probably next week, if I fund it, then I will have $100 in that savings. So moving on, this one was fully funded last time and we talked about it. So that one is done. Sophia's birthday is getting $8. Okay. 
Okay, almost there, guys. So put this here, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's eight dollars right there. Putting them in here. And this one in here, like so. And I'm counting this way. 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars in her birthday. Very exciting. Special event has been fully funded, so I'm close, closing this one right here. Travel is getting $77. And I have a little note here that I sent 10,000 pesos to Mexico. So we no longer have the 477. We started with 77 again last week. And that's what's in here. And I just want to leave that so that I know that it's not just this that I have. I have to remind myself that I actually put together almost $500. And my sister did collaborate so it, we send exactly five hundred dollars over to mexico for mexico spending trip 50 60 70 75 76 and 77 dollars and i'm adding 77 to that 50 70 oh 75 76 77 dollars let's put them in here Let's count this. 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 51, 52, 53, 54, 154. It feels like a very hefty amount. I'm kind of excited about that. We're getting close to that Mexico trip. So this is very exciting news. And then so the 10,000 pesos or $500 are sitting on my Mexico checking account. And that's exciting. Christmas at work is not getting funded and then also youtube is not getting funded so this one is failing me i am i have to so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna end up putting more washi and then re-hole punching it and that'll take care of it so i will do that next time but for now these are fulfilled like i have said in other videos i do use this happy planner it's a classic size and it has done very well with me my sheets that i have on etsy i cut i take sorry i take one inch off this side and then half an inch of this side and then that way it fits perfectly in my happy planner um i do the size that i sell is eight and a half by eleven so you're gonna have to kind of gauge that out i didn't set it up where like you actually have the measurements but it could be done i always just eyeball it i don't typically measure i kind of see so that this I, I, that this measures seven inches and then this way it's going for nine and a in an eighth of an inch or something like that so that is that this has a classic happy planner has done a well job keeping track of my stuff and i think i finally am on a roll with how i want to use it i love doing the weekly spreads like i said if you haven't tried it i didn't see a purpose before but now that i'm getting a little bit more deep into what i'm spending i like to see this part like i really like to see that uh, even though like i have done unbudgeted purchases if you really think about it um, $50 out of here on my husband. So I've only spent $30, including my $31 in this week, including my daughter's stuff. And I was on a cruise, so okay, fine. But if you check the previous week, I only spent $20 between my daughters and I in purchases outside of food or um, gas or anything else. Unbudgeted, it was 40 but that was my husband as well. So I don't feel as guilty anymore before I thought it was all me so this really helps me see that not that I'm trying to like blame who's spending more or less it just really helps our family see things clear and it is quite nice to start hitting our debt knowing that it is possible and it is okay I am not thinking to be completely debt-free in like even five years 
but to know that this is making a difference in my life believe me when i say i didn't have even ten dollars in a savings account now i know for a fact that in my savings sinking fund i currently have 90 dollars, and that is honestly the highest has ever been but know that within all the sinking fund forms we have more than that so i am keeping track of this my husband and i are actually we actually worked on this on wednesday so i was really happy to see that if it's highlighted we have funded that actual sinking fund so it's getting better and i'm really excited about it i honestly these are on my Etsy shop too, if you're interested. Honestly, um, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. And if I even take a look back to September, we had a balance of 1,410. That's a hefty amount. I mean, I've never seen so much cash together, cash. So it is quite nice. We'll see what my sinking funds look like at the end of this month because I have, like I said, I have some money to Mexico. We'll see what the average is at the end. But regardless, I am happy that I'm doing this. I'm very excited. Hopefully you can tell that I am not faking any of this. This is real numbers. I do not have time to do fake numbers or to have, or to even have the privilege or I don't know what to call it to keep some money in the bank I can't do that as you can tell even the gas money that I put in there I ended up spending spending for my wallet which was like 26 bucks so if you're interested in that like I said I'll be uploading that tomorrow morning I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video now and then call it a day so that you guys can have this video uploaded I'm very excited that you guys get excited with my goals and that you are supporting me 110 percent know that I always try to stay on it I don't I I'm, I can't even lie honestly so <laughs> I've tried believe me I've tried so please know that I'm very sincere and I never try to offend anyone with any of my comments like I honestly like just feel like I want to share this journey with you and I love doing my teacher vlogs and I like sharing um a lot of my life with you guys and i am so glad that you are respectful of that thank you so much for being here if you have not subscribed please consider being part of this family i love you guys take care but more than anything as always god bless you. Bye.